I don't know if that 100% means anything. <laughs> it's time to check the water. Hey YouTube, it's Ty. Thanks for coming to my channel. I know you could be watching any other video, but you're here with me and I do appreciate it. Hey YouTube, it's Ty. I just wanted to do a quick TTC update. I am so excited. Um, I ovulated either yesterday or today. I wanted to do show you guys my OPK progression. Um, for those of you that are new, hey, I am currently TTC baby number two, cycle um, eight. Um, I am currently on Clomid 150 milligrams, and I currently just got my first positive OPK yesterday um, was, uh, I should know this, yesterday was August 1st. My little one, sorry. Um, yesterday was August 1st and cycle day 19. Nope, sorry, cycle day 18. And um, so let me just show you. This is, I started cycle day 11, and this is my progression. Sorry about the icky coloring. But as you can see, guys, I'm so freaking excited. Um, this was cycle day 18 p.m., cycle day a.m., I mean 18 a.m. As you can see, it was dark, as dark, and this was darker than the control line. So that's what makes me think I might have ovulated yesterday, but then woke up, and again, this is cycle day 19 a.m. and then p.m. It was clearly not as dark let me get a little closer see it's not as dark as 18 p.m but it's still as dark as the control line even when i just did it a little while ago so the thing that makes me think i ovulated yesterday also if you can see my bbt on cycle day 19 i had my dip and it has been rising ever since now um I don't know if that 100% means anything. I know the dip kind of means something and the subsequent rise means something, but I'm new to BBT and OPKs. This is my second month doing it. So last month, if you haven't watched my videos, please go back and watch them. Um, I did um, upload my OPK progression for last cycle and it, I did not get a positive OPK um, until cycle day 29, which at that point, I didn't know that it was, I made a mistake and took a luteinizing when I meant to take a um, pregnancy test because I always buy two kinds of um, OPKs and pregnancy tests just because I like to keep, you know, everything, make sure. And so 100% yes. Oh, and speaking of that, let me just show you. As I said, I bought two. I always buy two kinds. <laughs> this is the other one. And so this again, this is yesterday, 18 p.m. And this one at, was as dark. As you can see, the morning wasn't as dark. And then today, a.m. was not as dark. Again, I made a mistake. I have to start separating these things. I don't have one for this afternoon because... I made a mistake and took another pregnancy test. I have to separate them. Um, so, I'm sorry, I didn't have that one. But as you can see, it clearly means that I ovulated. I am so freaking excited. Um, I go to the REI Saturday to get my blood drawn to confirm that I did ovulate. So everybody, please send me as much sticky, 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 sticky baby dust as you can because I am freaking out. Because again, I've never had a positive OPK before in the right amount of time. And so I am so keeping my fingers crossed right now. Um, I'm gonna come back at you at you with another uh, TTC update along with, with the REI blood work comes back as along with my um, symptoms. Because again, if you did not watch my other video clomid 150 milligrams is no joke i have 
so many symptoms and they all mimic like premenstrual or pregnancy it's like so i can't even rely on the symptoms that i have like i've been having headaches cramping i definitely ovulated from my rest, the right side because the right side has had constant twinges and sharp like little needle pinpricks and everything like that so i'm almost 100 percent sure that if i did ovulate it came from the right side um what else what else what else um heartburn um no hot flashes um it's just a whole bunch of stuff that you would definitely like in back aches and everything like that to PMS or pregnancy. So I cannot rely on symptom spotting because the Clomid does give you super crazy, not good symptoms. So I will come at you guys with another TTC update very soon. Please click it, like, <laughs> click the like button, subscribe at me down in the comments let me know what you guys think do you think i ovulated on 18 or 19 and do you have to have a dip because again i showed you guys i had the dip on cycle day 17 but didn't get a positive opk until 18 and 19 which is today so again i will be back with you guys very shortly thanks ttc -ers.